In both cases, the plaintiffs argue that the activities of the large particle accelerator could generate doomsday scenarios, with the most notable being the inadvertent creation of super small black holes capable of engulfing the Earth from within. Scientists have yet to provide a satisfactory explanation for this alarming concept. Greetings. It is a pleasure to meet you all again. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is one of the technological wonders of the modern world. Situated in a 3.8 meter diameter tunnel with a circumference of 27 consen, a depth of 175 mimos beneath the France-Switzerland border near Geneva. The LHC, being one of the most expensive scientific devices ever constructed, was built with an approximate budget of $9 billion in 2010. Serving as the largest and most powerful particle smasher in operation, the LHC's mission is to validate particle physics theories and explore the fundamental properties of particles and the nature of the universe. Nevertheless, Experiments conducted at the LHC have raised concerns about the potential for triggering apocalyptic events, notably the risk of creating black holes capable of swallowing the Earth from the inside. So, what exactly is the Large Hadron Collider? How does it operate? And can it, indeed, give rise to apocalyptic events as feared? If you find the term Particola Accelerator Zounding scientific and perplexing. Imagine them as giant grindeers. However, unlike car crushers, wood chippers, or more relatably reese and corn mills that crush visible objects. The Large Hadron Collider crushes microscopic particles. Particles so small you can't see them. Or even particles smaller than that. True to its name, the LHC accelerates particles, typically protons, to speeds close to the speed of light and then collides them. These collisions produce a shower of subatomic particles that can be detected and studied by analyzing the particles created in these collisions. Scientists hope to gain a deeper understanding of the fundamental forces as well as the background particles of the universe. The specific operation of an experiment on the Large Hadron Collider can be divided into four stages. Stage one, pumping. Protons are pumped into a series of smaller accelerators to gradually increase their energy. When reaching a certain speed, they are then injected into the Large Hadron Collider in beams. Each beam contains up to 115 billion protons. Stage 2. Acceleration The protons are accelerated to near the speed of light using strong radio frequency cavities and approximately 10,500 superconducting magnets with a total mass of nearly 500 tons. These magnets are cooled to extremely low temperatures with 96 tons of liquid helium, enabling them to generate a magnetic field 150,000 times stronger than the Earth's natural magnetic field. The operational process of the Large Hadron Collider draws power from France's electrical grid, an amount sufficient to supply nearly 20,000 households, or about 120 megawatts, while simultaneously producing around 140 terabytes of data per day. Stage 3. Collision. The Large Hadron Collider can accelerate individual protons to extreme energy levels, about 6.5 tera electron volts, generating a total energy in a collision of 13 tera electron volts. At this energy level, the protons move at a speed of about 0 0.9999991 c, meaning only 3.1 per second slower than the speed of light. It takes less than 90 microseconds for a proton to travel 26.7 lars around the main tunnel equivalent to a frequency of 11,245 revolutions per second. Once the protons are accelerated to the maximum energy level, they will collide head-on at four different positions around the ring where enormous detectors are placed. Collision events occur at specific points where the proton beams intersect, once every 25 nanoseconds, resulting in the creation of 40 million atomic particle showers per second. Stage 4. Detection Detectors record the energy and trajectories of the particles created in collision events, allowing scientists to study their properties and behavior. 
The data is then analyzed by physicists and used to test theories regarding the fundamental nature of matter and the universe. The Large Hadron Collider became operational in 2008 and, just four years later, left scientists in awe when it confirmed the existence of the Higgs boson, a fundamental particle predicted since the 1960s, but only discovered by the LHC in 2012. The discovery of the Higgs boson is praised as the final confirmation of the Standard Model, a scientific theory describing three of the four fundamental forces known in the universe, including electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force, and strong nuclear force. Simultaneously, it serves as a classification theory for all known fundamental particles. In conclusion, the Large Hadron Collider, OLHC, is not only a sophisticated technological marvel of the modern world, but also a crucial tool that helps us better understand the fundamental nature of the universe. From proton pumping through acceleration and collision to the process of discovery and data analysis, the LHC has opened the door to knowledge, bringing about remarkable discoveries. Scientists have succeeded in very defying theories of particles physics and uncovering fundamental particles such as the Higgs boson, contributing significantly to our understanding of the origin and structure of the universe. The Large Hadron Collider is more than just a research tool. It is a historical milestone marking human progress in unraveling the mysteries of nature. Overall, through its complex operational stages, the LHC has provided unprecedented glimpses into the atomic world, expanding our knowledge of the universe and offering new opportunities for scientific advancement. This opens a promising gateway to future groundbreaking discoveries as we continue our journey in the quest for profound understanding of the nature of the world around us.